Today's an insane day. The craziest day we're gonna have in a long time, hopefully. We leave in 27 hours for Arizona. Take a look at this place. Not even close. Here's what we have to do today. This is Tess's job. Finish removing interior of the van. Make a template for the box in the van. Laundry, wash bedding, fill fresh water and pack hoses. Screw sidewall into drawer platform. Plan fridge mount and build it with Steve. Remove window vents and add washers. Pack and load the van. Fill the propane in the Airstream. Unplug the 4G antenna wire in the Airstream. Secure the TV mount in the Airstream. Itemize boat stuff. Clean the pilot. Here's Steve's job. Finish installing lithium batteries. Make sure solar is working and charging. Get the 4G booster antenna installed. Go to Home Depot. Already did that. Make jack blocks. Steve and Tess together. Find a place to put the spare tire in the van. Move the inverter in the van. <coughs> Remove the van roof lights. Build fridge mount and shelves. Finish bench in van. Cap the AC in the van. Not gonna do that today. Pack the tools. Don't forget Gorilla Tape and bumper bearings for the spare tire. Pack all the gear in the van. Clean the garage in mom's office. In 27 hours. Yep. Well, Corbin's back and he is helping us get this all tied up. Working on some copper. Here's our little circuit board. We're running our little grommets. This is great. And this is Maxton. What do you like, Maxton? Motorcycle riding. What kind of motorcycle do you have? Uh, a Honda. Who do you like to ride with? Mm, my dad and my mom. My name is Kayla, and I love swimming lessons. Oh. Who's your dad? Corbin. Yes. So Kayla and Maxton have a Palo Mini and they're going to tell us about their trailer. What's your favorite part? That there's some storage. All right. Kayla, what's your favorite part? That we get to have bunk beds and that it's really not as little as a raindrop trailer. Yeah. Where have you gone in it? We've gone to the sand dunes. That's cool. Do you like camping with your family? Just last yeah. weekend. Just yep. last weekend? Yep. Very cool. And we got to take our dad to remote control cars. And we have paddle tires on one of his cars. Oh, cool. Just the race, not the summit. Yeah. And so we got to drive up the dunes. That is cool. Dunes. These kids are a product of amazing parenting and lots of time spent as a family doing fun things. This is what RVing is all about. Wow, that fit perfectly. Good work there. From here to here, a little Z bend. Yeah. Go ahead and turn that on and you suck up all this sawdust that you can. Oh, I see it. You need to climb up there, Maxton, and tell me where to go. Sure. Can you do that like you did it before? Like right, this? That'll hold you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it will. You're lighter than one battery. <laughs> All right. Can you see it down there, Maxton? Mm -hmm. Which way does he need to put it? Um, to the front. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. Okay. All right, it's 345. We're finishing up the circuit board. We just need to connect the negative here and the positive here. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I had a 50-50 chance. Well, the, the solar goes here. The inverter will go there. Oh. That. I'm glad we have Corbin here. How you doing? Good. This is where we're at. We've got the bus bars in here, holes drilled for this wire. Holes drilled for this wire. We're going to knock out one of those, run the wires up, connect them, 
run them back down to go to the circuit board, which is going here, and cover it all up in a beautiful box. And then we will have all our power running off of our lithium batteries, and hopefully we do it before the sun goes down so we can see if it's charging them or not. It's not looking good. <laughs> oh, <that's really> good. <laughs> There's the beautiful circuit board. All right, time to test this. We're at least testing the battery. There's my start button. Here we go. There it is. Blink. All right. Fridge came on. 13 volts, that's great. There we go, okay. Good deal. All right. Okay. Now so we're gonna now... test our monitor thing. Yeah. Gotta turn my TV on, which I've never done. That's a red light. That's good. Something. Look at that. You just have to stand really far back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we hit this page button. And there's our 20 cells. Man. They're all balanced. Very nicely balanced. Yeah. Pack normal. Everything is excellent. Yay, we have batteries. Charge controller or solar controller is not connected yet. So we just wanted to make sure that these are working. We're running off lithium batteries for the first time ever. That's exciting for me. And this is the Super D. It's not HD or UHD. It's like instead of 1080p, it's like 10p. 10 pixels per inch right there. It really is close to 10p. <laughs> That's close, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? That's pretty cool. It comes with a little monitor from Starlight to monitor it. It wasn't meant to be blown up this big, but we didn't want to mount this screen, and we thought we could just plug it into our TV, which we did, and it works. Do we want to test solar while there's a little bit of light out? I don't know if there's nice. enough light to really, okay. to really do much. Okay. We can try it. I mean, I can... Well, tomorrow we'll see if the solar works. Yeah, that's going to be the real, the real check. Is that's okay. At out. least the lithium's working. That's great. I still need to do some programming, I'm sure, to make these all talk to each other and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to hook up the solar charge controller until we're set up for lithium, because then it's going to be charging at their own volts. Okay. And so what we need to do is figure out how to program the magnum to run off of lithium first. Okay. Sounds good. Well, the plot thickens. We had 12 volt power for a little while, but when I was carrying the board, I bumped a wire. Okay, I tripped on a wire and it pulled the diode out and I busted the diode. So we have to go to Radio Shack. Teresa's on her way there right now. It's a $1.50 part but it's an hour away. So we're going to connect everything, then when we get the diode, program it all, and get that all working. Well, the one inch NM is about the limit for, I don't even need to put that screw on. Well, that <laughs> must screw be the tight. Clamp on. All right, this is the PV from the combiner box on the roof, coming through, getting ready to be attached. Blinking, huh? Okay, we got everything connected. We just turned it on. It's connected to the pedestal. It's dark, so we're not generating any solar power, but it's all connected and ready to go. And now we're going through the initial setup process, which is not in my brain yet, so I can't fully explain it. But basically, we charge it to full capacity, and it kind of says, oh, okay, that's what full looks like, and then this will be more accurate. That's the condensed version of what's going on. But huge shout out to Corbin. Huge thanks to him for getting this all set up. I very much could not have done this without him. I couldn't have done 1% of this without him. It's been a long day. Still have a few more things to check off, but this completes the solar install. Stop recording.